Okay, I'm with uh, this Terry. His channel is Rock and Roll Derelict, and he has invited me to come see his music room while I'm in Dallas. And we're going to have I'm going to have Terry flip through some records, but this is his incredible music room. Look at all that. So Terry, that's that's the you said um, classic rock and everything's exactly. in there. Yeah, and then jazz is. That one right there. Right here. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Well, we finished with Zappa. We got a pretty yes. good Zappa collection right here. Okay, all right, big yeah. Zappa. And he showed me he has like those. Those were original Nick Drake albums you had. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. From, from, from the very beginning. He uh, fell in love with him and bought them all on but on, on sale. You used yeah. to be able to find Nick Drake in in the new arrival the bin. Yeah. You know when you go to a record store. God. And so over here in the far bin, he has stuff from his parents that are in there. And then these bins are all the contemporary. DJ, the contemporary. This is all the stuff that most channels do not have, do not show from Europe. Mostly from else. Europe. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I just want to look at the signage, too. I just, I got to point that out. Terry collects porcelain signs. And these are outstanding i love god those are cool so Let me point this out real quick yes this is from i went and saw this concert illinois speed press okay this is cal david and this is uh paul cotton paul cotton went on to be in poco all right cal david was famous for you know fabulous rhinestones he was all, also playing with john mail wow he just passed away like two weeks ago okay yeah i've been following his career forever but yeah, that was a great concert. Also, you have one of you, of your group. Right here, Claude Combe and the IVs. Yep. That's our record. Right there, the orange right. black one. Yeah. Look at that, this record. So, what year, 1980? Yeah, I think it came out 80, 81, something like that. San Diego Punk Rock, Vinyl Richie. There you go, you got that one? Pretty neat. That's where we played with the Crawdaddies and the Paladins. Wow. That's and the amazing. unknowns up the top there. Okay. <laughs> We're just talking history here, folks. Just some really, really cool stuff. Cool Budweiser one. So just, Terry, a couple, if you just want to do a little flip in there, just All right, come on over here. Jail. Let's go through here this All side. Right. <laughs> we'll see. The new Coco Roco album? Nope. Jazz, female-led jazz group out of England. The label Drone Rock Records. This is a compilation of some of their best groups. Zenobi, excellent album. This is a guy, I can't remember where he's from. Flying Moon in Space. Wow. No this idea. is the brand new um, uh, Utopia Strong. This is like their third or fourth album. Oh, I know Cactus. I Cactus. knew one. I knew one. Oh my God. Uh, Thornado. Is that new? This is brand new. Yeah, right. brand new Thornado. So this is you would like so these are two brothers they play like both play guitar okay and it's kind of a mellow down tempo electronica stuff uh -huh. but on guitar oh, neat. like flamenco -ish spanish style okay and this is two of their albums this is the brand new um pretty lightning you heard of pretty lightning no nope. sight group no nope. yeah this is pretty interesting this is a um masamo Martelato. This is kind of like uh, library music. Oh, wow. Well, yeah. That's kind of neat. Is it newer library music? Yeah, it's brand new. No kidding. Yeah. So that's pretty. Have you heard of, uh, what's his name? Stan Lee? Not Stan Lee. I can't remember the guy. These are the two All Them Witches. The new All Them yep, Witches. I, yep, I do know that one. You know this one, right? Cocoon. Oh, yeah, yes. Yeah, is that the brand new one? Yeah, this is the brand I'm new one. I'm still waiting for mine to come in. I pre ordered it. Everyone it has in the world but me. How was it? Which one? The, the, the new, the oh, new I love their stuff. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. That's their last album. Yes, sadly. it is. So this is a really spaced out dub All right. on uh, Loki label. This is a compilation. And I keep my, uh, we don't want to put my address on there. But <laughs> I keep my, uh, 
Yes, we we'll don't want anybody running over here. So this is in. my, I'm a real big fan of Nicodemus. Okay. He's a DJ out of New York, but he travels the world. All right. And he's got his own label, Wonder Wheel Recordings. Oh. And he, he's just fantastic. Okay. All kinds of great music on his label. So cool. That's yeah, that is neat. And you, you brought in a couple interesting albums here that you... Oh, we played a little Monolink. Oh, and the, the stuff from Circle. Yeah. Yeah, those, those those are packed with so what so, so just just tell me about Okay, those. Circle is a label uh -huh. that sends DJs all over the world to do a show and they film it. These are albums from those shows where they pick one song from the the show. Okay. Now these shows where they send them yeah are incredible. And if you go online, if you go on YouTube, you can look up Circle, C E R C L E and watch these performers perform in these beautiful locations. Isn't this neat? Look at them pictures in there. And on the back, they explain what the band did and stuff. Man, that is outstanding. And it's all electronica. Uh-huh. And it's this, it's just excellent, the whole thing. Look at this. And so each they picture is where they perform there. Yeah. Wow. And usually it's either the sunrise or sunset or some magic uh -huh. part of the day. Wow. And look, Elliot, there, Lazy Dog Records. There's another dog. It's Levi. The There's Levi chewing a bone. Levi, what are you doing, buddy? I only got a cat. You yeah. got the cat, though. The cat, yes, I have the cat. So this is just, this is Terry's stuff. And Terry, is a, you do a lot of DJing. Well, Done it. we're hoping to start a... A show on Twitch, yeah. so, so keep your eyes open. Keep an eye on Twitch. All right. Well, Terry, I appreciate Thanks you Thanks for stopping by, Steve. I really bet. appreciate it. This You're a good guy, awesome. and it's always fun talking to you. Yep. Always a pleasure, Terry. And welcome to the Midweek Show. Yeah, whatever I call it. So the, the record room tour, that was really unplanned. Hadn't thought about doing it, but... I was there at, at Terry's house, and his channel is Rock and Roll Derelict. And, you know, we're just looking, and we're going to go out to eat and go, why don't we just, can I film your room real quick? Let's just do that. And so I did. It was a good time. Um, when I had told, I was down in Dallas for a meeting. That's I, My last time we went to meetings was pre-COVID down in Dallas. And I met Terry at that time. We actually went out record collecting with a few others, including Andre, Linda Delag, and um, Chris from First Pressing Goodness, which those two have made videos in ages. And and so I met Terry. Well, uh, so most, you know, it's Thursday night. Most everyone was able to get a flight back, and my, my flights are going to go way too late. So I said, I'm staying, and, um, you know, Put it out there and terry got a hold of me to meet but terry's a great guy it was wonderful time uh his his record room is incredible the stuff he's been collecting is amazing yeah uh, again he used to have his own punk rock band he was in which is really really neat um just an incredible collection and now so much of it's coming from europe all these different types of albums so yeah it, it would be fun for him to do a video kind of to, you know actually to play samples of all this stuff way out there but he's working on his own video i think he's on uh on, on a different format so uh kind of a djing thing which i hear is a big deal uh so rock uh terry a rock and roll derelict and terry thank you again for your hospitality um uh, Take me out to dinner. Very, very nice. Great family. Really good time. Okay, all right, all right. Let's move into albums I've brought back into my collection that I used to have, okay? And I got a couple. The Heat. Bring on the Heat. I'm going to start with the good stuff. <laughs> that, way, that way, before everyone signs off. Uh, the Cramps. Psychedelic Jungle. There's my original that I had. Uh, but obviously you lost the color cover. A radio wasteland. Got in a couple more cramps. Unbelievable. And so I was able to get these. Not, nothing special in here. Uh, this is, oh, gee whiz. I think this is like their, their second full 
type studio album. They did songs, you know, songs that were taught us, and then they did this. So on here, you do have a number of rockabilly covers. They're still doing more of that psychobilly. You had Goo Goo Muck on here, which is a redo. The Voodoo I Do, um, Caveman, The Crusher, Green Door, Jungle Hop, um, um, was it Kid pa um, uh, Kid Powers is on here. So Gregory Hawkins is gone. Kid Powers comes in. This is a great Cramps album. Really, really good. Psychedelic Jungle. Uh, it, it ranks as one of their their best albums. Their first few albums are just top notch. Really great to get that. And so now my original vinyl has. Why do I got two original vinyls? <laughs> I got a lot of those now. The other one he got in was this one, and it's um. Rock and roll, rock and roll, uh, rocking and reeling in Auckland, New Zealand. Rocking and reeling in Auckland, New Zealand. A uh, wonderful thing to get. And there's uh, from my same thing on here. Uh, this was a live show. Uh, they were doing a lot of live shows from mid 80s to the 90s, not doing much of any studio. They were just on the circuit doing stuff. And this is from their show down in, um, in New Zealand. Uh, the music is based more on their uh, their newer material that they had. So you don't get the psycho billy. You got the sexo billy happening here. Uh, Hot Pearl Snatch, uh, What's Inside a Girl, Can Your Pussy Do the Dog, um, Do the Clam, uh, and a variety of other ones. Uh, really, it's, 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 it's a very good album. Is the, the recording quality isn't necessarily top notch, but it's very good. I mean, it isn't like, oh my God, you know, you get some bootlegs. Oh, wow, that's that's terrible. No, nah, it, it sounds good. It still does sound good. Uh, you know, it's fantastic stuff. I'm really happy to get this one. Again, the, the 80s cramps is the best, you know, uh, but I'll, I'll, I'll collect any cramps there is out there. So I'm happy to have that. Then, this was exciting. This was exciting. And I'd say, okay, I say that about lots of stuff, right? This is exciting. Got this from Dom at uh, Seeking a Thread. He was selling this. And he actually sent me, I got a couple of ECLT albums I have to show yet. Um, this is, uh, well, actually, I need to show this one first. I got this. I found this in a bin at one of the stores in Michigan. There it is. Sparks, Kimono My House from 1974. And... Uh, just a uh, wonderful album. I this this has great stuff on here. You have um, this town ain't big enough for the both of us, which was actually a hit in 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 the UK. Um, you know we got here in heaven. Thank God it's not Christmas. Just fun stuff. You know there are there are lyrics. You, you have to read them. Once you read them, they're pretty damn funny. And, and and this is one of their classics. They had three albums that really, to me, are the pinnacle. And now I have all three of them. It started with Kimono My House. Then it came to Propaganda, which also came in late 74. And then the next one, the next one is, to me, the Coupe de Gras. The Coupe de Gras. The Coupe de Gras. The Coupe de Gras. The Coupe de something. Sparks Indiscreet. This, this is a funny album. Oh my God, what they're singing now. I mean, there's there's some serious stuff in there. You know, um, you know what they're talking about. Mid mid age crisis stuff like that. You uh, you have hospitality on parade. Hospitality, hospitality on parade. Um, they go, um, whoever you are, whoever you bring, you'll find hospitality on parade. However you look, you always a king. Whoever there's hospitality on parade. I'm special, I'm special. And just going like that. Uh Okay, uh, you know, that's nice in the midweek, you um, you get me to sing. They have pineapple, pineapple, um, taste too health to me, pineapple, filled with vitamin C, pineapple, fulfills every need. Now, what's funny, though, when you, look, when you listen to these lyrics, my God, it goes, um, oh, here we go, uh, what, what's, what's, oh, yeah, Got pineapple. Got to send a case to the city jail. The warden likes it because it 
It won't conceal any sort of handmade weapons. They are baked right into their buns and the taste is delectable. <laughs> <laughs> they talks about shipping them to the school, shipping them to the ski team. Um, there's the song Tits. Um, <laughs> uh, uh, and if the guy's lamb, he's getting old, and he's getting sad, and 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 he's drinking, he's becoming an alcoholic because tits used to be for him, and now they're for little Joey. <laughs> Jesus. Oh my god. Um it's just <laughs> It's it's so subversive. So it's so freaking funny. Um, so these are the three sparks. I'm happy. I, I really don't need any more. I these are great. So happy to have that. I bought this reissue. I've been looking I just kinda um Melinda Murphy's was talking about this, but along with some other ones, but they just you know had re redid this one. Um, Half Speed Master. I, I think Avalon is one of the most beautiful albums. Uh, absolutely gorgeous um, made. They did a real nice job with packaging, which I can't seem to pull out. So really good job. Maybe I took the shrink off. Uh, um, more more than this I, is, is just a pure classic of just such a gorgeous melody. Av Avalon, my God, that's just amazing stuff. This this whole album to me, this this is my favorite Roxy music album. I know it's not experimental, it's none of that stuff, but it's beautiful. And it's all extremely listenable, and you just want to play it again and again. So happy to have that. I was able to bring back in with this. I think I got this one when I did that. Um the uh, when I went and I did that pick at that in that basement, the one Led Zeppelin I did not have yet. Well, there's a couple. I don't have the song remains the same, which is not a big deal. I don't have Coda, which is not a big deal, but I needed to get this one. Um, well, it was the Houses of the Holy, right? <laughs> you know, it, it don't don't you just hate when we can't even put up Houses of the Holy when they can't put the names on there? Uh, the famous cover. Those are just. A, set of twins superimposed again and again and again um there is you know some satanic symbolism in here supposedly um what 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 do i know about it probably not a whole lot it's very nice there is look at this nice textured inner sleeve that's on there really cool of course you have the song remains the same you have the crunch and the crunch was kind of came about just because um James Brown's always talking about the bridge. Give me the bridge. Give me the bridge. So as they're kind of having fun with that old James Brown thing of give me the bridge. And of course, Dancing Days, Dire Maker, Ocean. Uh, just truly another great classic Zeppelin album. And now I have really what I need out of the Zeppelin. Um, from that pick, when I was over in the basement, I did pick up Ram. And this had, you know, Uncle Albert. At Admiral Hall's The Uncle Albert, which I have always truly loved. I just thought that was just such a cool song. Fun to sing. I am, that's kind of the big hit. I, I liked it, but I wasn't blown away by it. And, I, you know, I quite honestly, a little, a little disappointed. I was kind of hoping for a little more. Um, you know, it's it's not a bad album, and, and I know um, there's a Paul McCartney fans that absolutely love it. I like Paul McCartney. His greatest hits, I think, is fantastic. But it's just, some of the stuff, it just gets so, not as much substance and stuff, I guess. I, 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 I don't know, but um, I did pick that up. And I also picked up this one here. This is the very first Wings album, Wings Wild Life. Uh, and I have that. Look how nice and um, nice, cool label. Very pastoral looking. And, uh, nah, I, you know, it just was, it's not, it's really not, not for it's not my kind of album. It's not terrible or anything like that. But would I really reach for it much? No, I probably wouldn't. So, um, yeah, I, I guess I just need Wings' greatest hits, huh? <laughs> it's just kind of sad, you know. I I'm trying to like it, but yeah, a little something. So that was good. Um, hmm, 
Someone's trying to text me here. Um, Howard Jones, we have this one. This is the Howard Jones I've been looking for. And uh, Dream, Dream Into Action is as things can only get better and no one is to blame is also on here. So I was excited to find this. I found it in Denver, really inexpensive, didn't cost a whole lot. Um, and it's just, I've been looking for it. And I played it and, well, like, okay, I was underwhelmed again. I, I just... I, I like I love things when I get better. There's a couple songs on here I absolutely loved, but then a lot of the other stuff just wasn't up to what I was hoping for. Um, greatest hits probably for Howard Jones would be happy. I mean I've been looking for that one, so I was happy to find it. <laughs> just sometimes you play and go, eh, okay. And the final one I'm going to show is Gordon Lightfoot Sundown. I do really like this one. Carefree Highway Sundown is on here. Uh, just beautiful stuff, but man, that guy could, that guy could write, he could sing, uh, you know, and you think about what I usually show on my channel, it's not folk oriented, but if it's the right person with the right voice and the right story, I like it a lot, and I really, really enjoy Gordon Lightfoot, you know, my first Gordon Lightfoot was the, the album with the wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald, and just wow, but I knew his other songs already, because they were on AM radio, so, uh, yeah, I didn't have this. Look at that beautiful copy and the shrink and everything. So, um, and it's, it's a super value. So, woo, there we go. So, but I picked up some stuff that really was great. Some stuff that made me go, hmm, yeah, whatever. So, thanks for sticking in with me. Appreciate it. Hope you come back and visit me on Sunday. Bye.